Okay, I've gone back to my old settings. Which should be fine. There you go, frame rate problems. I'm even seeing on the viewport better. So... It, I mean, I don't think it's a CPU thing. I think it's just a bandwidth thing. So... Either that or it's just ju the way Justin TV works doesn't like that quality setting. So we'll stick with what we know works for the time being. Which is quality 6 as opposed to quality 8. It's still watchable. And I would have just liked it to be a bit better. But there's not really a lot we can do about it, it would seem. Okay. Problem solved. Yes, of course, people are still asking when it starts because people don't have any brains. That's the way it works, I'm afraid. You don't need to see the nuke here. The nuke was earlier. I don't know if you guys, if you haven't seen it already, it's, it, someone made a little video of it on YouTube, so yeah, it's, it's gone all over the place. I suppose I can show you the nuke, maybe. We'll see. I need to do more of that, actually. Yeah, you can hear in the background, I'll, I'll get to where the stage is. Unfortunately, the Blizzard's replay system doesn't allow you to skip to the end. You can't do that. It's got to kind of buffer the whole thing. Stab him, stab him. Come on. It's like 28 minutes in. It was like, ugh. You tweeted the same thing twice. No, I didn't. Justin TV did. Nothing to do with me. Yes, I know the overlay still. Because we haven't got to the bit yet. Hopefully no ghost today. Why would they not... Oh, go oh, that kind of ghost. Right, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm still going to be... I'll be using ghost today, for God's sake. In-game volume is exactly the same as it was yesterday. So that hasn't changed. Yes, I know you can't see the game. My god. There's a reason they don't read this chat. It makes me think everyone's a bloody idiot. As it turns out, they actually kind of are. Just skipping ahead. Finding the nuke. It takes ages, even on 8 times speed. Because obviously it was a 28 minute game, so it's going to take a while. As you can probably imagine. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, when a little something like this. Seemed fairly reasonable. Okay, very cool. Right. We get ready for some laddering, I think. Okay, close this down, make sure that we're not getting that chat, because the chat has a tendency of hitting the frame rate pretty hard. Okay. If you just tuned in, you had no idea what this stream actually is. This is I Suck at StarCraft Live, which is exactly what it sounds like. I am a Division Rank 23 Gold League player attempting to get to Masters. It is taking some time. My name is Total Biscuit. I'm a play-by-play -play commentator. Which means I don't know much about the game, but I like to get really excited about it. It's something along those lines. So, this is a stream of me trying to improve, basically. And this will be our first match of the day. It's going to be on Delta Quadrant, which will be against Jim Boom, the Zerg player, whoever that might be. And the aim over the next few days is to try and get to the top eight of this particular division. See if we can pull that one off. Here's hoping. So, things we've learned over the last few days, that I'm a really, really inconsistent player. And that's probably the worst thing about it. Some, some days I'll get my macro right, 
and then I'll fail at everything else. Some days I'll do some great micro, but my macro will be utterly abysmal. I think one thing I did pick up, though, is I keep forgetting to hotkey everything ever. I need to be using more hotkeys than I currently am. So I'm going to try and do just that. So that's going to be the thing we're going to focus on today. So it's a Zerg player. So let's get some wall and off action going on. There we go. Let's start that off. Now, because I want to keep an eye on that one, I'm going to bind him to key one. A little bit late, we might get temporarily supply blocked, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Don't sweat the small stuff. Sweat the big stuff. If you've got massive problems in your play, work on that first, and then you can sweat the small stuff. As far as I'm concerned, that's how it should work. Now, there's no point bringing him over. Oh, that's a really early scout from Mr. Zergy Zergy over there. So, I was thinking maybe, just maybe, I could go fast Banshee, but I don't know. He hasn't actually scouted anything worthwhile. Is he going to leave? No, he's going to sodding harass me, isn't he? Oh. Oh, why did you have to move there? This is actually... I really hate this. Does anyone else hate the random nature of the way SCBs move? Like, you'd think it would be a... It's a competitive game, a skill-based game, and yet your SCBs move randomly. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, no, there's no other element of this game that actually works that way. That's the weird thing about it. All right, we might still go Banshee anyway, because he hasn't scouted the gas. He has no real ideas thus far anyway. Can we get another SCB down? Probably not. Should we? Probably, because of... Uh, yeah, yeah, we should, definitely. Right, well, you need to get back to work. Get the barracks out right there. Start getting some gas out. This is not going to be fast, Banshee. No, don't go back there! Why would you do such a thing? Oh, my. Right, now we go through to... There we go. Fine, right. So he got there really early, so I have to suspect that he's probably down there. Right, build marines, build that. I'm okay for supply for the time being, keep an eye on that. Well, there's his overlord, I guess. In the rear with the gear. So where are you hiding? There you are. You have a spawning Upgrade pool. Complete. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Okay. Let's get the factory down. Have you expanded down there? It seems so very unlikely. Have you seriously only got a spawning pool and nothing else? Have I missed something here? I'd have expected something else from this person. He's not down there. He's got some Zerglings out. Well, there's no point sending three Marines in right now. Need to get the second refinery down. Get some Banshees going. You know, you could just leave me alone, but... Oh, oh, you're going to let me live. That's a wonderful thing. You are the kindest Zerg I know. Most Zergs would have just chased me down. They could have actually killed me there as well, but there you go. I'm very, very happy that he didn't kill me. Always nice to have a spare SCV where I otherwise would not have one. Okay, where the hell's that SCV? God damn, come on. Get the starboard down. This is still going to be a little bit late, but... I haven't scouted any Evolution Chamber, and I haven't scouted any Spore Crawlers yet. So, supply blocked. Ah... Uh, this happens every time. In the meantime, let's get second barracks down. I want to get a Hellion out. At least I would. You know, I don't think of a great way to alleviate my supply block. Throw all my Marines at him. It's mainly because I didn't see many things there. And he hasn't expanded yet either, which is kind of weird. But Whoa! I found the Zerglings, guys. And they found me. And now I'm trapped. This could kind of suck, actually. Especially if he goes right for me. Which, if he's got any damn sense, he will. Okay, in the meantime, get Tech Lab. I really should have got the Tech Lab on this first. I'm in panic mode again. I need, cr you know, I need crisis management skills. I just go on a course for that. Yeah, that would really help me right now. He hasn't got in for the attack yet. He could have a Baneling Nest. In which case, I should really prepare for the very real possibility of him having a Baneling Nest. How do we do that? Well, we put something in the way, make it a little bit more difficult to actually get through. We'll get a Hellion out. We're going to start with the Banshee now. Oh, that was really early Banelings. Incredibly early Banelings. Scarily early Banelings. Am I sort of relying on these Hellions? I really am. Not good. Wow, that was really fast. I'm dead. Really? I mean, what else can you say? I'm pretty much boned. I'm also supply blocked, which is even worse. 
God damn, I, how did I not see the Baneling Nest? It's kind of terrifying. Well, I can get one Banshee out, but not before I lose everything in the world. Oh dear. Can you not? Can you just go this way? Right, okay, Banshee, you are kind of the only thing that can help us right now. Oh dear. That's been done, GG. That was so quick! Wow. How did I miss the Baneling Nest? Well, let's find out, shall we? Where was it? When did you put it down? Did I scout too early or what? Throwing those marines away was probably the stupidest thing I could have done. I would have actually survived if I hadn't done that. He hadn't put it down then. He must have put it down as soon as I left. He did. God damn. I missed it. So dumb. Well, that's that, isn't it? And then I threw the marines away. That was so stupid. Okay. Lesson learned. Hopefully. Not the greatest start to the day. That said, I think the last five days of streaming has started with a loss, so there you go. Sadly, Casper the friendly Zerg didn't want to just leave my base alone. Can't really blame him for that, honestly. Okay, next matchup will be TV Random, which is even less helpful than the last one. Yeah, sending all my Marines in was really dumb. I don't know why I did that. I'm trying to think what, what went through my mind when I thought, I'm going to send all my Marines out. Probably because I'd only seen a couple of Zerglings when I went in there. I think I lost track of time because it was a good two minutes before that. It's like, you could build way more Zerglings than that time. What am I thinking? Thinking maybe he's gonna quick tech or something. Oh god. Yeah, that was a complete disaster. That and I've gotta say with the Banshee, I was really, really slow. I could have run a Banshee out before that. Wouldn't have helped that much, but still. So sad. Okay, I'm walling off because I have no idea who he is. Simple simple principle. He might be Zerg, in which case I'm probably gonna need the wall off. Fantastic. It's always... I keep forgetting things. It's always these little things that will actually cost me the entire game. And it's mostly due to scouting, as somebody correctly pointed out on Reddit. Like, yes, it is actually a scouting problem. If I had scouted those banelings, for instance, I wouldn't have had an issue. But I did. I need to be scouting more. A lot more. Like, for instance, I'm just going to go to scout right now. Why the hell not? Oh, but I don't get five minerals. I don't care. I'm going to go scout. I'm going to go find out who he is and what he's up to. And then we're going to keep doing that. So, I'm going to try and remind myself to scout. Whenever I'm not doing anything, scout. Send an SCB. I don't care if I mess one SCB down after that. Just go. Scout. Whatever. Scan, maybe. We're just going to open up with a nice standard build. Because I don't know who he is yet. Need to find that out before I commit to anything. He hasn't scouted yet. This is interesting. It's a Zerg player. What's he got? He's not six pooling. Could be eight pooling. That's a, that's not a lot, is it? I think he's eight pooling. Or eight or nine pooling, maybe? No, that's going to make a difference. I mean, if I've got a Marine behind it, that's actually not a problem at all. Okay. We should go in again. I just want to keep an eye on it. Well, there's your four Zerglings, but it doesn't really make all that much of a difference. 